In this lesson, we are going to create a WinCC Unified Faceplate and utilize the Tag Interface tab. This will allow us to pass in an external tag value into our faceplate. I'm going to open up the screen FP Tag Interface. On this screen, I have two objects, a circle and a rectangle. I'm going to use these two objects to create a basic pump faceplate. So I'm going to select the two objects. I'm going to right click on my selection and select Create Faceplate. This will open up the faceplate editor. I am going to close the yellow banner at the top that allows me to release or discard the changes in my faceplate. This will expose the various tabs that can be configured inside of the faceplate. I am going to select Tag Interface. And then I'm going to create a faceplate tag. It is going to be called Pump Status. The data type is going to be Boolean. Now that the tag is created, I'm going to select the Visualization tab. I'm going to select my circle object because I want to animate the circle's background color based off of that pump status tag. So I'm going to select the background color and double click here on None and select Tag. I'm going to minimize my toolbox area so that I have more room here to enter in my tag selection. So I'm going to select the Browse button. In this particular case, when you're browsing inside of the faceplate, you can browse for the tags that are created on that tag interface tab. So here's the pump status tag, so I will select that. I'm going to select range for the animation type. Then I'm going to enter in a condition of 1. And then I'm going to select the background color of green. When you do browse for tags inside of the faceplate, you only have access to the faceplate tags that are created on the tag interface tab. You do not have the ability to go out and browse for external tags. So I'm going to select the yellow indicator, and then I'm going to select release the version. I'm going to give my faceplate a name. It is going to be called FP underscore pump tag. Down below, I'm going to leave delete unused type versions checked. And I'm going to expand out my toolbox area again. And now you'll actually see the libraries tab. And here's my pump tag faceplate. So these objects, the circle and the rectangle, Okay, are not part of any faceplate at this point in time, so I'm going to delete these objects. I'm going to drag in an instance of our new faceplate, fp underscore pump tag. Then I'm going to go down into the miscellaneous category and expand out the interface area. This is where you will see the pump status tag entry. I can click in this column here and then browse for an external tag to link to it. So I will select my bit tag 1, which is a Boolean tag. And now I will drag in another instance of the FP pump tag faceplate. This time for the pump status tag, I will select the tag bit tag 2. Now I will start my simulation. I will go to my tag interface screen. I will toggle bit one and you can see the circle is animated. I'll toggle bit tag 2, and you can see this faceplate is animated. The next thing that I want to do is I want to duplicate a faceplate type. So I'm going to select one of these faceplates. I'm going to right click on it and select Go to Library Version. It shows you that you can select the specific version of the faceplate that was being used. So in this case, I want to duplicate this FP pump tag faceplate. So I'll right click and select duplicate type. I have to give it a new name. 
I'm going to call it CTRL for FP underscore pump tag control. So now you'll see that there is a duplicate type inside of the types folder in the project library. So I'm going to right click and select edit type. What I would like to do next is drag a button object out onto the screen. And just make it so that it covers up my pump. And I'm going to go down to the properties of the button. The first thing that I want to do is go down to the miscellaneous area, change the layer. So instead of the button being on layer 0, I want to put it on layer 1 inside of the faceplate. And I'm going to change the name of the button object to be button INV for invisible. And I'm going to go up to the appearance properties. And I'm going to change the opacity. I'm going to change the 1 to 0. That will make that button be invisible. So then I'm going to select the events tab for the button. And on the click left mouse event, I'm going to put in the invert bit in tag instruction. For the tag entry here, I'm going to select our pump status tag. And now I'm going to release the version. And I will delete the unused type versions and say OK. So now I've got version 2 of the FP pump tag control faceplate. So I'm going to delete this instance here of our original faceplate. And now I'm going to bring in a different faceplate, which is the control faceplate. I'm going to select the properties for the faceplate and go down to the miscellaneous area under interface. And then I will assign the bit tag to. I'm going to go back to my toolbox and I'm just going to put two text objects on the screen. So display pump status. And we'll just say that it's going to click to toggle the pump. To start my simulation, I'm going to select my tag interface screen. So this one I can see you know, the status change. And this one I can actually click on it and toggle the status of bit tag to. In this lesson, we created a WinCC unified faceplate and utilized the tag interface tab.